The president's address to the nation was roundly praised by leaders across the political divide. A section of female MPs, however, faulted the head of state for failing to address the one-third, two-thirds gender rule. Here now is what some of the leaders said about the president's speech. I'm also talking about uh, that the unity does not mean unanimity uh, or uniformity. So we need to digest what he meant by that. But I think uh, it was a statesman uh, speech. We didn't talk about the floods. There's floods ravaging the whole country and people are actually dying and people are displaced and children are not able to go to school. But he fell short of talking about floods and that was my disappointment. The community that I come from are pastoralists. Uh, I did not hear a lot of emphasis on anything related to pastoralists. I'll be coming up with a bill to have punishment by way of life sentence to the people who perform economic crimes. I think to the expectation of the majority of Kenyans, we were waiting maybe the president to unpack the details of the handshake between him and uh, the Prime Minister, Ray Aldinga. Uh, today, we shook each other's hands and I know this is something that is going to last us the next four years. We are also very happy that he has come out very clearly on the big four in terms of food security. We must show the way. That's the direction. He has spoken about the security, which is very critical. In the remainder of his tenure, how he intends to provide food security to the nation. And to me, it was a brilliant speech. Especially me, I've been uh, on uh, the abusive side towards uh, his right honorable Raila Omolo Odinga. So I was also to take that opportunity to apologize.